subscribe now or this superman dog will be in your bed tonight r slash ask credit by reddit top posts people who have actually had sx with a step relative what was the aftermath we were on a family holiday in spain and the apartment was quite small so a few of us slept in the living room i was almost asleep when i heard my older brother get a hand job for my stepsister i had forgotten about the sounds until now so thanks bro I don't think they had sx maybe without me knowing but I don't think there was any aftermath besides extreme awkwardness on my part for the rest of the holiday and a significant time afterwards. Now I think about it they were both ill for a few evenings that holiday so now I realize that was bullshit and it was bang city. My stepbrother is also my brother-in-law. He married my sister and they have two kids. This isn't a good story though, they were dating before our dad and his mom started dating. So we all met as adults, and I knew him originally as my sister's boyfriend and then it got weird on paper cause our parents married. Did your parents meet through them or did they not know they were dating? Our dad and my bill slash step bro mom were like high school sweethearts but married other people, my dad marrying my mom, his now wife marrying my bill slash step bro dad, after high school. Our dad had told us stories of her many times and the chance came for us to meet her when she was in town and we met her and her two sons and all exchanged numbers. At this time our dad was still married to his second wife, then it came out later that there was an affair and my dad got a divorce and married my bro-in-law's mom. However he got remarried really fast so at the time of my sister's wedding, she was marrying her stepbrother. Even though they had dated openly longer than my dad and his mom. Edit, tried to add some clarity without convoluting it more. Not me but my older brother. For years the story was he got the clap from this older woman who took his virginity. A month ago he told me the truth. He got the clap from our stepsister, who at one point tried to sleep with me too. He clapped dad as, and dad has clapped back. Had a co-worker who was sleeping with his stepsister, both of them were already in college when their parents met and got married. Pretty sure it lasted a while, with them all living in the same house. Eventually got caught by one of the parents which ultimately led to the parents separating. Sis loves me. Edit thanks for the gold big brother. What about half brother and half sister? I have a buddy whose married mom cheated with a younger guy and my friend was the result. When he was an adult, he fell in love with a gal who just happened to be the daughter of the younger guy who had married someone else and had this girl. My friend and this girl got married and had a kid, who died young, and then his wife unknown half-sister, died. This was about 15 years ago. My buddy's mom just told him this year that his wife was actually his half-sister. The mom knew the whole time and never said anything or tried to stop the wedding out of fear of destroying her own marriage. Edit. I think I found the confusion people are having. Hopefully corrected. My sister gave our stepbrother a blowjob on one end of our wraparound couch, with our grandmother asleep on the other end. Spoiler alert, she woke up. We had some f***ed up family dynamics. Edit, I've answered these in the comments but for anyone who doesn't feel like scrolling. What happened when she woke up? My grandmom woke up mid-job smacked my sister on the back of the head with her slipper, they sprung apart and ran away without saying a word, and the next morning everyone just acted like nothing ever happened. As far as I know, my grandmother never said a word about it to anyone. Where was I? I was in bed, sneakily reading Aragon and none the wiser, until my sister told me the next morning. I think these two instances perfectly encapsulate who we both were as a person lol, and still are to be honest. Hooked up with dad's girlfriend's daughter before they married. Her mom found out. All she said was well, I'm glad you two got it out of your system before you are related. Anyways it was boring and pointless. The whole naughtiness of it was the best part. Edit, punctuation. Because I'm worried about what you people will think of me. So you are to blame for the flood of step-sibling porn epidemic. My husband's brother secretly dated their stepsister. Only my husband knew about it. Despite him telling his brother that it was a bad idea, he still pursued the relationship. They had to confess to the family because she unexpectedly got pregnant. Their mom was upset and disappointed, but said she'd support their decision to be in a relationship and start their own family. The father however, could not get on board and pressured his daughter to get an abortion and to end the relationship. They still ended up together and had the baby. A few years later, they both cheated on each other and ended the relationship. Family gatherings are super awkward with my husband's side of the family. Edit, I should add, when they became step-siblings, she was 10 and he was 13. They started dating when she was 23. My dad was banging my mom's sister and I have a couple of cousin brothers to show for it. Yes, 
Florida. A girl I worked with had, in my opinion, a really weird situation. Her dad was dating a woman and she was dating the woman's son. All living under the same roof too. I believe they broke up and it got pretty toxic as they kept trying to make their step-sibling jealous by bringing home randoms to sleep with. Imagine explaining that one to the people you're bringing around. One of my uncles married a woman when they were in their 50s and their 20-something kids ended up falling in love and marrying. So my cousin married her step-brother. My uncle ended up divorcing and has a third wife but my cousin is still happily married with three kids 20 plus years later. Our parents got remarried later in life when we were already grown adults. We were both only children so having siblings was a new experience for us, but we wanted it to work if only for the family's sake. In an effort to grow, closer, we decided to go drinking one night, a few months after we met for the first time. She ended up crashing at my place. I offered to take the couch and give her the bed but she insisted we sleep together in that weird feet to head set up. My drunk as promptly went to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night to find us spooning, and me with a serious erection poking her as. I froze. I didn't know how I got there, what was going on, or how I was going to get out of this gracefully. I had just decided to extricate myself slowly in the hopes that I didn't wake her, when it happened. Wiggle wiggle. She started wiggling her as against me. On instinct, I started bucking. Tap tap. Wiggle wiggle tap tap. There was only one way to go from there. We went out that night intending to become closer, mission accomplished. We f***ed a few times a week for 5 to 6 months before we both met other people. In that time we became very close, telling each other our fears, secrets, and generally being what you think of as brother and sister. Except for that other thing. Friends have remarked about how close we are, especially for how short a time it's been. Turns out, there's a shortcut for that. You'd think that would be the end of the story, but instead of going our separate ways with the new people in our lives, we ended up realizing we had fallen hard for each other. Now we're dating and trying to figure out how to tell our parents, family, and friends. Might not have that problem for too much longer though. The last time her dad came into the living room where we were hanging out, well, first he knocked. My parents are stepsister brother. What's your relationship with them like? Good, I love them dearly, they are divorced and don't communicate but are friendly with each other. Honestly it messes up my family tree and it's hard to understand who is who to me. Though it's funny thing to tell people. A guy I knew, while we were both early teens, had a huge crush on a girl who was a close friend of his family, his parents were church friends with her parents. Then, her parents both died in a car accident, and his parents had agreed to adopt her if such an incident were ever to occur. His mom was kinda weird and made him start calling her sister, and none of his family knew he was head over heels in love with this girl, or if they suspected a crush they pretended not to. What they for sure didn't know, because his parents would have disowned him, was that by high school, they were secretly banging almost every night. I lost touch with them during high school, and I wanna know what ended up happening with them so badly it drives me crazy to think about. Edit, to the million people asking me to track them down now, I tried years ago but literally the only thing I have to go off of is his name. We only hung out for a few years, and it was because my mom and his mom were work friends who hung out outside of work a lot during that time. I don't know what school he went to or what church they went to. I don't remember his school friends' names. I'm only about 70% sure I'm even remembering the girl's name correctly. The only avenue I could think of exploring is asking my mom what her former co-worker's name is or if she remembers where they moved to. But that's a really weird question to bring up 15 years later so I don't really plan on going that route. I just gave his name another search, but it's a fairly common name and without more to go off of it's sort of impossible to find a match on social media. Sorry to disappoint. This thread is like a car accident. I really don't want to see what people say but I also can't help but to be curious. My parents used to be step-siblings. My mom was 6, dad was 12 when my mom's mom married my dad's dad. My dad lived with his mom primarily though, and they never spent much time together. I think my grandparents were married for 6 to 10 years or something like that before they divorced. When my mom was about 20, dad was 26 and he asked her out. They've been married for like 35 years. The complicated bit is that I have an aunt that was born from the marriage of my maternal grandmother and paternal grandfather. So my parents share a half-sibling. But they're no longer step-siblings. Edit, rephrased a sentence for clarity. Also, guys, there are plenty of other southern hillbilly estates aside from Alabama, unless I'm missing a reference to something. That being said, 
Every generation beneath my great-grandparents on both sides has been born and raised in CA. Although funnily enough, my aunt did move to a southern state when she got married. I like to joke that she complicates the family tree so they kicked her out. We fixed the washing machine so she wouldn't get stuck anymore. What are you doing, step bro? Let's just slip right to relatives. Caught my cousins kissing, I quietly snuck out to let them do whatever horror as they intended. Never mentioned it not once. Well apart from the odd slight remark every now and again. It was just a quick fling I believe. Edit, they weren't siblings, they were also cousins to each other. I think they were around age 18 give or take a couple years. Didn't happen in the US as some people have tried to guess for various reasons and experiences. Thanks for all the interesting replies, too many to reply to but enjoyable to read. If you know people that have married or dated their cousin. No judgment from me and I hope they are happy. The end. I had a co-worker who told us unashamedly that she had sex with a distant cousin. Another co-worker asked like a fourth cousin of something? She said no, he was my first cousin, but lived two states away. Not my story, but my partner's ex-friend f***ed his aunt. They aren't related biologically related but the aunt knew the guy since he was baby. Plus, the uncle and him were close and he worked for slash with his uncle. Basically, the aunt was going through a breakup with his uncle. The ex-friend and aunt got drunk, f***ed and kept as a thing. They only stopped when the uncle got his act together and wanted her back. Aunt told him everything, but pretty sure not the consistency of how many times. When the uncle found out, he called work saying he was going to kill his nephew if not beat the living SHT out of him. The co-workers told the ex-friend and he skipped town. Obviously they no longer have a relationship with the aunt or uncle. Added note, completely forgot about this comment as I got preoccupied with other events. Was not expecting this. Time to look at my inbox. I got confirmation that he was 21 years old and he did have other sexual encounters, but he lost his virginity to his aunt. The outcome was dramatic and incredibly tragic. I had a colleague once who drunkenly confessed to sleeping with her stepbrother. Eventually it developed into a serious relationship. Her parents got to know and desperately tried to get them to break up. Colleague ended up dating her stepbro in secret. It's an open secret in the office at this point. Awkward, because the stepdad was also in upper management. Anyway, her parents find out again and try to get them to break up a second time. It's all gets rather public and ugly and quite embarrassing for her mom and stepdad who are now senior figures in the industry running their own company. Colleague tells us that she's been given ultimatums from her mom. Doesn't describe what they are. Suddenly, she stops showing up to work and emails her resignation. She tells HR that she's moving to the US to find some peace. Colleague also texts some folk at work to tell them that she's had enough of the drama and moving away. A few weeks pa and there's no news from her until her step bro slash boyfriend starts contacting all her work friends. I wasn't contacted but some of my teammates were. Step bro is desperately trying to get in touch with her she's broken up with him via text. He wants to know if anyone's heard from her. He doesn't believe that she now lives in the US and that she'd go without telling him. Everyone writes him off as a guy who couldn't handle the rejection until he goes to the police and files a missing persons case. Police actually made a few inquiries to everyone's surprise. It doesn't happen often because they usually guff. This is still a developing country after all. In the end the cops write the stepbra off as a lovesick loon and everything settles down. For a while at least. Stepbra has gone crazy, now claiming that he thinks something bad happened to her. Says he's fallen out with his parents over it. No one at work wants to get involved in this family drama especially since the parents are important people. Things die down again, until they don't. Fast forward two years and no one's heard from our colleague, until the cops come culling. They've arrested her mom's chauffeur on an unrelated charge and he confesses to murdering our colleague. Even leads them to the body. He doesn't however reveal a motive. He must have been stalking her think the police until they investigate further. Our colleague never went to the US. Turns out the emails she sent weren't from her either. They were sent after her death. The texts, the emails and the breakup were all from her mom. She covered her tracks after she orchestrated the murder of her own daughter. All because she wouldn't stop dating her stepbrother and was going to marry him. Sorry for the bad grammar. English isn't my first language. I'd forgotten some details. The colleague's mom always had a strained relationship with her daughter. At social events she often claimed to be her sister, through everyone knew it wasn't true. I think Biodad was also involved in the murder somehow, 